thank you very much, the Vice Chancellor, members of staff, and the Senate Council, the student body, and the President of the student body. The chairman of Khan Legal Stage, ably represented by our beloved minister. I praise the Lord for being here today at this university site that became full fledged university this February. And now I'm here not only to have prayer, global crusade, but also to celebrate and to rejoice with the university here and then other universities where this place be a point of contact to our children, to our youth, and to our adults, young adults, everyone. We come here at this time to declare total emancipation by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. I've been to many places in Nigeria. I will soon be going outside Nigeria for this global crusade. I will see a lot happening. A lot. Lives are being transformed. Families are being united. Yokes are being broken. Definite things are being done that will hear testimonies from all over the world. And now, here is our own time in Lagos State. At Ikurudu here. And I'm assuring everyone, all the people who are here, all the people in our city, the people in our state and country, Nigeria, and all of Africa and beyond, this is going to be a special time. A special time of emancipation. A special time of freedom. A special time of liberation. Really, we're going to move from all our confinements and we're going to be elevated by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. I believe in not just hoping, not just thinking, not just desiring. I'm believing that there's going to be a confirmation from heaven. Great things are going to happen. Let's tell everyone, everyone around, everyone beyond, that this is going to be a great time of visitation from the Lord, and it's going to be a time of emancipation for our country economically, for our people socially, and for everyone spiritually. And our time here is not just for the people of one tribe, one section, one culture, one color, one religion, is for everyone. Amen. Almighty God in heaven has come to bless all his creatures, right, left, center, everywhere. And I'm believing that this is going to be a time of glorious emancipation, liberation, for everyone. Yeah. Come one, come all. Yeah. The Lord will bless you. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Good morning. My Thank name you. is Jesus Kuri, I'm from Olafe, and I work with the Guardian newspaper. Sir, I want to ask you, um, how do you feel looking at this program becoming a full house program to Nigeria community, not just uh, the deeper Christian life ministry? How do I feel? I feel on top of the world. You know, as we look at our lives, there are indications. Two eyes, when only one eye sees, there's limitation. We have two hands, we have ten fingers, and we have ten toes. We do not know the importance of any finger until one is lost or missing. And when all the branches of the Christian body in our country, when we join together, when all the hands, all the eyes, all the ears, all the fingers are all together, and we're pushing at the same thing, pulling the same thing, we're going to succeed. 
This is um, a university setting, and there are many young people that will be reached come this crusade that begins tomorrow. Now, what are some of the things that they will be hearing that will help to change their perspective about the hopelessness that we tend to see or we tend to feel in Nigeria right now? I became um, a born again, renewed, transformed Christian the same year I entered the university as a student. If I had entered ordinarily and normally, maybe my vision, my focus will be on the subject I want to take mathematics at the university. But because I became transformed and my life became broadened, I saw further than my undergraduate days. And I saw into the future that was the new life, the new vision, the new spirit, the new character, and the new focus that came to my life as a student. I knew I could not just make a difference in my life, in my family, but for my nation. And that is what has carried me here now. That's the reason why I'll be talking to the young people on how to move from where they are to where God, the Creator, wants them to be. Notice my word, where God, the Creator, who created all of us, whatever our background and whatever our focus, He created us that will contribute to the world in which we live. The people outside the youth community, and maybe some youth too, they are complaining about this, this and that. I want to see what can a youth, a young person, a student, contribute to this world? What others are complaining about? How can we become the solution to the problem of our family, our nation, our community? And I believe that as we get uh, attracted and connected with what we're going to do, things are going to be different, not only for each individual, but for our country at large. Yeah. So at this time, in the country, I would like you to send a message to Nigeria, to the, to the nation at this you know, time. As we look at, you know, the social media, look at the news and everything, we're concerned about the country. We're concerned about what's the future of our country. We argue about this and argue about that, about the uh, same face, uh, you know, uh, candidates and all a lot of things going on. But I want to say that when we are looking into the keyhole with both eyes, we don't see anything. If we can just step back and allow God to move this nation Nigeria to where we ought to be as the giant of Africa. The Lord can do it. Amen. I want to say let's stop fighting each other. Let's stop uh, kind of confronting each other. Let's stop opposing each other. Let's step back. Let's give God a chance to walk in us, to walk through us and to walk through in this country. And then to touch people everywhere through Nigeria. Nigeria, Africa can become greater. Amen. And through Nigeria and Africa, we can make a contribution to our world that the world will know. Not only that Nigeria is, Africa is, but this generation of Nigerians and Africans that we need at this time in history. And I pray that what we're going to have from God during this time will contribute something to our our uh, future that it will put you, put me, and put our country and put our continent on the map in the real sense in Jesus' name. Yeah. Let's pray together. Almighty God, we thank you and bless your name. Thank
thank you, Lord, for what you've started today. Thank you, because we know you're already present, and your presence and your power will turn every life around for the better in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless all those who are here. Amen. Bless their family. Amen. Bless this institution. Amen. Bless this city. Amen. Bless our state, Amen. our country, Amen. our continent, Amen. the world. Through this GCK or this July in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we accept your yes, blessing. Amen. We'll see your blessing. Amen. We'll never be the same again. Amen. In Jesus' name we we'll pray. Amen. Amen.